Good morning, everyone. It is April 20th, Monday morning, and this is Pastor Brian Mike. And this is Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And we are here yet again for your daily devotions. We are sitting on the opposite side of the sanctuary today to mix it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to be doing the litany here, but before we get to that, we're going to be singing... We're going to do our hymn first, so we're going to do hymn 477, and that's Alleluia, Alleluia, Hearts to Heaven. We're going to sing verses 1 and 3, and the third verse is a Trinitarian verse, so we will be standing. Alleluia, Alleluia, hearts to heaven and voices raised. Sing to God a hymn of gladness, sing to God a hymn of praise. He who on the cross a victim for the world's salvation led. Jesus Christ, the King of glory, now is risen from the dead. Alleluia, Alleluia, glory be to God on high. Alleluia to the Savior who has gained the victory. Alleluia to the Spirit, fount of love and sanctity. Okay, and our reading for today is taken from the Daily Lectionary. That's also uh, printed out for you in the hymnal. You can find that right around where we're doing our devotions. And our reading for today, the Gospel reading, is Luke chapter 4, beginning at verse 16. This is a, a fairly famous reading. When Jesus is rejected at Nazareth. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as was his custom... He went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He enrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Well, liberty, I think, is a good uh, word for us to think about today as we're all still dealing with shelter-in-place orders. Uh, this is a different kind of liberty, though. This is for liberty for people who are uh, oppressed at the time, uh, the poor, the blind, the people who were regarded as being uh, untouchables in society. And Jesus has come to uh, bring about the great reversal, where he's come to bring down the mighty and to raise up the lowly. And so this is a very powerful theme in the Gospels, particularly in Luke's Gospel. Luke's Gospel is sometimes known as the social Gospel because there are many such stories and accounts that, uh, that speak to this. And so uh, we, we are starting out here in Luke, basically with, uh, you're, you're seeing some of the rejection of Jesus up front, that Jesus is, uh, this is gonna be the mark for his ministry. And, of course, we have just finished the season of Lent, where we see him uh, being rejected and scorned to the, po the point of being crucified. But then, of course, the resurrection comes along and shows his victory over death. And that's our hope and also uh, our light and our salvation. So, we give thanks to Jesus for what he has done for us. And we continue to sing his praises and um, sing hymns to him here in, uh, in our own time. I think you might be a little out of focus. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are doing the litany now. This is on page 288 in your hymnal. And so let's begin. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all errors, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, 
from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity, by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment, Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word and your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To raise those who fall, and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness and their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and all young children, to free those in bondage, to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. To give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayer. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. We implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, Elizabeth, do you have any announcements for today? Uh, we will have women's Bible study tonight at 6.30 through Zoom. And for those of you who have the books, we will be going through week six, days one and two. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all tonight. And this Sunday in Bible class, we do finish up the book of Isaiah, finally. Uh, finishing up Isaiah 66, and the week after, we plan to start our study of eschatology and revelation. So hope you can join us for that. Also, don't forget, we're going to be doing our parking lot service this coming Sunday morning at 8.30. So uh, this is going to be a, a great opportunity for those of you who have been asking about early worship for years uh, to finally get your wish. Uh, we'll see how this goes, and uh, hopefully we'll make this a regular thing for as long as we're in quarantine. So um, look forward to seeing you in ministry this week. Uh, stay in touch with us through social media, and uh, we wish God's blessings on your day.